Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy. Welcome to Disciple Makers, where we are courageously striving to multiply followers of Christ. Last episode, we talked about whatever Jesus does, do that and you'll be fine. And so now in the next few episodes, we're going to talk about what did Jesus do? And what then should we be doing as we are following Christ? Another way of putting it is, what are the marks of every disciple? What is it that every follower of Christ should do? What are the things that we should put on? What are the marks that we have as disciples of Jesus? The mark in life makes a big difference. For example, here I have two boxes of macaroni and cheese. Maybe some of you are macaroni and cheese fans. For me, as for me in my house, it is Kraft macaroni and cheese. I grew up with this. I love it when I see this on the shelf in a grocery store. I'm even willing to pay more than maybe the generic brand for this box of macaroni and cheese. It's the mark on the box. It's, it's the, the label, the packaging. When I see this, I think good. When I see this, I think, mm, I'd rather pay more for this because the mark makes all the difference. So for us as disciples, like, what is our mark? What should the world see us as, as disciples of Jesus Christ? The good news is the Bible talks about these marks. And in fact, there seems to be one mark that's above all other marks. That Jesus makes it clear, if you're going to do one thing above all else, do this one thing. And he says in John 13, A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, and notice this, by this, everyone will know you are my disciples if you love one another. So Jesus says, the greatest thing you can do, the number one thing as a disciple of Jesus, as a follower, Jesus says, to love one another. And then he compares it to the love that he has showed us. And we know even this week, looking at Good Friday, looking at what happened on Easter, Jesus loved us so much that he went to the cross for us, taking the nails through his hands and his feet, crown of thorns placed on his head. The ultimate expression of love Jesus did for us. And now Jesus, in this crazy turn, puts it back on us as disciples to say, now, Jeremy, now all of us disciples, do unto others as I have done unto you. Love one another just as I have loved you. And notice what he says. If you do this, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. The mark makes all the difference. I, I pick my macaroni and cheese based on the mark on the box, the label on the box. For us as disciples, the mark makes all the difference. If we are ones who love one another, Jesus says that is the number one command. That is the thing that you can do above all things. When we talk about love, sometimes it can be very abstract. We don't really know what that means. It becomes kind of ubiquitous, what love really means. Well, the Apostle Paul kind of describes love. Like this is the components of love that we as disciples of Christ should have. It says this, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And then uh, Paul finishes this section and it says these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But then he says, and notice this, but the greatest of these is love. 
love is the first mark. Love is the, the one above all else. As Paul says, the greatest of these. As Jesus says, the command, the greatest command. As I have done to you, love one another. And so for us this week, what are ways we can put on this mark of love? Maybe for you as you read through, and I encourage you this week to read through that checklist of 1 Corinthians 13. What areas of love am I really succeeding in? What areas of love am I really struggling with? What are the areas where I'm falling short of loving one another just as Christ loved me? So this week, disciples, let us encourage one another to love one another. Let us encourage each other to go out into the world and love others as Christ loved us. Because by this, the world will know that we are disciples of Jesus. Disciple makers, let's go and love one another.